certainly uh, he um, made some comments in some of the very earliest documentary records of Chichen. So he says that into this well they had the custom of throwing men alive to sacrifice to the gods in time of drought. He also threw in a great many other things like precious stones and things which they prized. Well, this quickly became translated into virgins. Um, I think we can see where this is going, and indeed, there she goes. Um, knowing that Lander had said that a great many of prized objects were thrown into the Sinonte meant that people were very, very interested in what might lie beneath the water. So, beginning uh, in the very early part of the 20th century, in the 1901-1903 kind of region, uh, people started dredging. Um, Edward Thompson was a leading figure in this project. Um, they found a lot of skeletal material. There were indeed a lot of bodies in the cenote. It wasn't possible to determine skeletally whether they were virgins or not. Um, however, a great many of them were children. Um, and it does seem as if, um, rather like practice uh, in central Mexico, the children were um, the victims given up uh, as items of sacrifice. Um, 